What's up, super players? It's your host, Tony G, bringing you back another Market Monday. And if you're new to the channel, you love these type of videos, smash that like button, comment down below, and be subscribed for more awesome Market Watches and Market Mondays. And just like in the video, what colors to buy, what decks to play if you're trying to play competitively, it's a Market Watch on the competitive decks. And if you're trying to win an event, these are the top choices or top cards to be buying for this amazing format. So, of course, We've seen a variety of decks, but we kind of see the same decks topping or the same leaders topping every single regional. Or we see a top four being the same deck over or decks over and over. And huge shout out to Eggman who has all these listings right here. We're going to go in a quick overview of what are the top winning decks. Of course, we have Gohan winning first place. We have Android 21 and SSG Crimson Warrior Trunks as well. Amazing decks, and I think we see this as in pretty much common in every format. Of course, the first deck that won is, of course, the Gohan deck, and then it's going to be a Pan, and then it's going to be Android 21 in the Tennessee Regional. The first one was the Madison Regional, and that last but not least is the France Regional as well. And of course, again, <laughs> Android 21 winning this event, we have Gohan, and the outlier always being either a a random deck not random but a good deck so we have uh android 16 bottomless Infer inferno so looking at the list now of all these amazing decks we're going to go into the market watches of what cards should you be buying for these amazing archetypes so of course we're going to start off with evil saiyan malice made flesh fires ambition seeker rare in the ssg trunks deck this is the best seeker rare to play not that uh mekikobura <laughs> i'm just kidding but Mechikabura is great if you're trying to get a budget uh, SCR for this deck. Still works really well. But, of course, this is the better alternative from the Fire's Ambition set. And then, speaking of SSG Trunks, these are the amazing promos or SR, SPR, and SR variants. So we have the Winter Stamp SSG Trunks. If you're trying to buy this card, it's going to run you $50. And there's not that many listings. So, of course, we're seeing many ssg decks topping the event or top 16 and then we have the spr version as well 14.99 so again if you're trying to win or bedazzle your deck <laughs> you have 14.99 to 39.99 and again they've been bought out and last but not least the sr version so if you're balling on a budget like tony g always is you go for the five dollar one <laughs> it's significantly cheaper but you're starting to see the sr even going up in price and that was the SSG deck, the Trunks deck, and then we go on to SS Gohan. This is the card that everyone calls the ultimate card or the secret or the, uh, yeah, the secret rare of this set, quote unquote. Because it just does so much for so little. Two green energy gets barrier and he pops a battle card ignoring barrier when he attacks and your opponent discards one card. Phenomenal. I love this card. Looks amazing. The artwork is sick. But if you're going to be playing Gohan, it's a must-have. You have to have four of these. And again, if you're trying to max rarity your deck out, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. It's going to cost you $20 for each SPR of Gohan. And if you're balling on a budget, like always, I got the alternatives here for $4. If you're not getting the SPR, you got the SR variant right here. Not too expensive. $4. And it slowly creeps up as well. And speaking of all their other alternatives, Oob, the focus full strength blow spr this card is amazing a great staple for almost every blue deck or mono blue leaders it's so good this is one of my favorite cards i love oob and obviously it's sitting at 6.99 for the cheapest version of it or not the cheapest the cheapest spr version of it 6.99 but you're going to be spending anywhere between seven to eight dollars for this card and then we have the sr variant as well so if you're trying to save money Again, I'm showcasing the cheaper one. Anywhere between $3 to $5 is what you'll be paying for this SR. But yeah, so it's anywhere between $3 to $5. So good luck to you guys if you're trying to find them on eBay or on the Majin Buu or can't, what is it, the TCG auction page or DBS auction page or the Majin Buu candy shop. As well as the Frieza Swap making a really good representation. This card is just generically good as well. So we have SSB Son Goku versus Golden Frieza Spirit Clash from the Wild Resurgence set. 
another great card sitting at eight dollars again this is the spr version so this is going to cost anywhere between eight to twelve if you're trying to buy this card and if you're playing this frieza swap deck which is very competitive you must need this card and um, we have the sr variant of course significantly cheaper sitting at three dollars to two dollars so again another card that's sitting anywhere between two to four dollars if you're trying to get a play set will cost you anywhere between eight to twelve dollars and then we have obviously android 21 has been huge representation in the top cut as always android 21 full power counter spr relatively cheaper than most of the other sprs we saw again like frieza eight dollars and 10 12 is the max you'll pay so anywhere between eight to twelve dollars for this amazing spr or if you opt out for the sr variant you're looking at 299 to even 999 plus shipping so anywhere between three to five dollars for one of these amazing cards as well and then we keep going is the last card for the android 21 deck which is super strong if they don't play that krillin or that cunning card this card is going to do major damage right away android 21 ceaseless despair a very strong card spr sitting at anywhere between four to six dollars so again for this spr version of this card anywhere between four to six and a Last but not least, we have Android 21 Ceaseless Despair SR variant. So if you're trying to save money, it's going to cost you anywhere between 2 2 to $3. I think if you're not trying to max rarity your card, Dragon Ball Super is very cheap to build a competitive deck. I highly recommend it if you're trying to play competitively. It's not going to break the bank. But if you're trying to play competitively and max rarity your decks out, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. So there you guys have it. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to have that One Piece uh, market watch tomorrow as well. So like we always say, everybody, from your host, Tony G, y'all stay super.